Hi there, this is Dr. Greg Hickman from the Andrews Institute. Uh, we've got a young lady here with a radius fracture. We're gonna get fixed up today for her and uh, we're just gonna go do an axillary block on her. These will set up really fast. They work really well. They're really easy. Uh, it's very superficial, very easy to see with our Clarius ultrasound. And um, just have to be real careful with the veins. There's a lot of veins in this area and uh, there's a couple ways to do it. We like to go find all the nerves, stimulate them with a the nerve stimulator, and, uh, and then inject a little local around each one. The other way you can do it, you can just surround the artery, the axillary artery with, uh, with local anesthetic, and, and, and that should get all those nerves for you. But, like I said, we're gonna stimulate, and we always stimulate here. Uh, we feel like that's just an added benefit to our ultrasound. And we'll get started and see what it looks like. I'm going to put a probe on and see what we got. Okay, it's very superficial. So we're a little deep here. We got three centimeters um, of depth. So I'm going to decrease that a little bit. Now I'm going to go this way. There we go. Okay. So I, I decreased the depth down to 2.3 centimeters. You can see the artery right in the middle of the screen beating. I'm going to turn the de uh, gain up just a little bit. So you can see what we got going on here. I think that's the musculocutaneous kind of way out there. So we're going to come in from the right side and work our way around the artery. I don't see the nerves really well, so we'll be looking for uh, some nerve stimulation to help us out. Okay. So we're going to come in here. First thing, I think this is the musculocutaneous right here. Yep, that's the musculocutaneous nerve. You saw that twitch. So we're going to put some local right there. Give me a couple, Rocky. All right, I'm gonna go under it here. All right. So you see how easy I got to twitch before and then I'm right up next to it. We're not gonna twitch anymore. Just depends on where you are. Okay, give me a couple more right there. And one more right there. Then we're gonna go past that and go down deep to the artery, see if we can find the radial nerve. You can see our approach coming in. And sometimes the radial nerve is a little past the artery. So what we'll do is we'll just put some local here under the artery, open up this space and that should stretch around to the radial nerve and then we'll go up on on top of the artery and put some more when we get the median and ulnar nerve. So give me five right here, Rocky. Yeah. There we go. So that's really good spread there around the artery from about eight o'clock to about five o'clock. So that's good. Then we're gonna go back up here on top. See if we can find the median nerve. Should be about right there. Not getting a twitch. Okay. Let me go over the top of that. There's our twitch. So let's get her back up here. Hold that arm about like that, okay? There we go. So there's a median twitch right there. Give me five, Rocky. So what that'll do, that'll push the nerve out of way so you can advance your knee a little bit more. Then we'll come back and go under that nerve, closer to the artery. Give me about three right there. We'll put three on the underside. I got a little twitch again. One, two, three. And then we're gonna advance on back and find the ulnar nerve posteriorly. That should be right back here. There we go. Arm back up here. There's our ulnar twitch. You give me five right back there, Rocky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-
Fantastic. Seven remaining. So we use a total of 30 cc's. Got a nice circle, the axillary artery. So that's our axillary block for today. We'll get her set up for surgery. And I'd like to thank you all very much for watching these blocks, uh, just showing the beauty of this, this wireless system. The convenience of this is so easy. If you're in a solo practice or all MD practice and you want to carry this around with you, it's very easy to do. And I'd highly recommend this Clarity system. Thank you.